Paradise, Michigan, who own three full-blooded wolves. And not only do they love their wolves, they use them as an educational tool to dispel some of the myths about the animal. Corey Adkins shows us starting with playtime, not to be confused with mealtime. Hey, 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 guys. Stop. Well, we have three full-blooded wolves. You're a troublemaker. Yes, you are a troublemaker. They were born in captivity, and they've been in captivity their whole lives. Um, I got them as pups at 18 days old, and I bottle fed them, and that's how you get the bonding between the human and the wolf, because it's important for the human to be part of that pack. They give us a lot of satisfaction. Um, Sometimes just from the fact that you have wolves in your backyard, and that's kind of a neat feeling. We get to hear wolves howl every evening, and also a neat feeling. It makes you feel like you're actually in the wilderness. I think the first myth that needs to be debunked is the one that if you meet a wolf in the wild, it's going to attack you and injure you and maim you and kill you. In general, they're a completely harmless species. There have been a few rare cases where people have fed them. And whenever you give up your food to a wild animal, which is something that does not occur in nature, you're telling that wild animal, I am weaker than you are. You can take my food, I fear you. And so you may get away with it, the next guy may get away with it, but sooner or later that bear, raccoon, even an opossum will challenge someone for their food, someone who is not quite willing to give up their food so easily, and then they may become aggressive, the animal may, at that point. So. There's an inherent danger in feeding any wild species because boldness should never be uh, mistaken for uh, friendliness. It's, it's not tameness or friendliness. It's simply an animal trying to get a meal from a dissimilar species, and it's actually challenging you for the right to that food. Well, we want them to understand it's a beautiful animal. It's an extremely intelligent animal. They're not to be feared. They're not to be hated because the wolf has been hated by man for centuries, and there's no reason for it. They are a necessary part of a healthy wilderness system, but they are to be respected. Now, you must know that Len and Shan have a special permit from the DNR that allows them to keep those wolves, and they tell visitors to come with their wolf prejudices because they say people will end up leaving them there. If you'd like more information about the story, go to our website. Click on the Michigan This Morning link. We'll uh, tell you how to uh, get in touch with these people. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, the uh, wolves likely leaving uh, tracks out there this morning because... Uh, uh, you can segue anything, can't snow you? Snow on the... <laughs>